When reporting stories from the dangerous front lines of global conflict, pictures can speak louder than words. And the many brave and dedicated members of the press that risk their lives every day to capture these kinds of images are being honoured on the 3rd of May, World Press Freedom Day. As part of the commemorations at United Nations headquarters in New York, a screening of the new film, Which Way is the Front Line from Here? The Life and Time of Tim Hetherington. You seem very intelligent for nine, eh? Just keep looking here and don't move. The film documents the life and work of Hetherington, a renowned war photographer who was killed while covering the conflict in Libya two years ago. Co-producer of the film and friend and colleague of Tim, journalist James Brabazon. I think that being part of an event which celebrates and promotes the work of journalists all over the world, particularly from the developing world, is crucially important. And despite countless violations of press freedom in many countries worldwide, Brabazon says that continued coverage and storytelling is vital, not just for the public at large, but as an enduring tribute to the legacy of fallen colleagues. You need the light to be shone in order to see more clearly. Just because people live in an area which is difficult to access, um, where people's voices are oppressed, doesn't mean that those voices are any the less worthy to be heard. Quite the opposite. We don't hear those voices loudly or clearly enough. So if World Press Freedom Day um, is a beacon to help us travel in the right direction, then I think Tim will be proud.